YouTube and welcome to your 25th JavaScript tutorial. Now in this tutorial finally we'll be looking at a proper approach what is DOM and the difference between a BOM and a DOM. Sounds like BOM but it's just B-O-M BOM and I bet it's not a name of a villain it's some technical part BOM DOM. <laughs> Anyways coming to tutorial now first of all let me explain what DOM is now basically when people ask me that is DOM what appears in the source code of a browser for example we have this web page and people ask me if this is the this is called the DOM no it's not this is not DOM then people ask me then what this notepad text is called DOM no this is also not DOM then people ask me that whether this content right here is the DOM and technically it's it's called the DOM this content right here in the inspect elements section it is called the DOM and this answer is correct to some extent but then you'll ask me that what's the difference between this code and this code right here so technically there's no difference appearing to you right here now but basically DOM is a API is a browser API which is accessible to the JavaScript now basically with the help of JavaScript we can modify this DOM structure so what you have to remember is basically that DOM actually deals with the document the HTML elements themselves basically and DOM is a kind of API which can be accessed modified and basically you could do anything with DOM with the help of JavaScript now coming to BOM now what is BOM BOM stands for browser object model just like DOM stands for document object model and basically BOM is a kind of superior to DOM DOM is a subset of BOM but BOM includes features like like you don't have those in DOM which are like your history your location changing your location getting your history your screen window object and like that so let's look at an example right now so if I do if I do like this then what I'm doing is I'm modifying DOM of this file so basically I'm modifying the DOM with the help of this API which consists of the document object then we are accessing body then we are setting the inner text to hello world so this is the API the DOM API which are we are using to modify the content that is shown to user now about BOM then if we do something like document.location.href then we set it to some other page like google.com then what we are doing here is we are working now with the browser we are not working with user content now we are not telling user anything or we are not showing user anything we are just sending an action to the browser level at the browser level to redirect this page to this URL so similarly we could use objects like history and your navigator your screen object your window object these are objects all our objects are called the browser objects basically and come under the BOM which is browser object model so this was a short quick tutorial on what is BOM and what is DOM and the difference between two and I hope you understood clearly that what is DOM and what is BOM technically we don't use these terms uh, very often in coding basically while we code but theoretically it's very important for 
kind of quizzes and when you have to answer questions and when you have to explain to a new person new to JavaScript that what is DOM and how it actually works so as I have already took your five minutes right now so I'd like to close this tutorial now and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe